there is a town southeast of Reno where the ghosts of the Old West outnumber the living residents. A place where the veil between the spirit realm and the living world is thin. Good evening, welcome back to Paranormal Trilogy as we return to Virginia City, the hauntedest town in Nevada, kick off our 2024 season here at Sugarloaf Mountain Motel. During its long history, the property has been many things, from a miner's bunkhouse, to a butcher shop, to even a jail. Guests report airy laughter, heavy breathing, and apparitions walking around the grounds in western attire. The last time the team was here, the investigation was featured on Discovery Plus's hit series, Fright Club. If you're familiar with Virginia City, you've probably heard of places like the Washoe Club, the Opera House, the Mackey Mansion, but most self-described paranormalists just drive right by this place. Join us as we dig deeper and investigate the mysteries of this hidden gem. T-shirts, business cards, you name it, it'll be on that website. So, this is the website below. Uh, and yeah, it'll definitely be here very soon. So, other than that, enjoy this investigation. See you soon. Okay. And get your Paranormal Trilogy merchandise today. Three nights of investigation. Six people separate into two groups. Every individual has unique abilities. Using those abilities in combination with advanced paranormal equipment, the teams investigate separate areas to capture irrefutable evidence of strange and unexplained occurrences. Afterward, the teams will meet and discuss what happened during the investigation. We are here to capture real ghosts or demons on camera. Everything you see is unscripted. This is reality TV. No Ouija boards or seances, but we just might capture a mermaid, a Bigfoot, or a lake monster. Andre, the CEO and apparition seer. Siobhan, the soul bringer. Leroy, the demon hunter. Marcy, the ethereal communicator. Introducing Lisa, the necromancer. And myself, Dave, the voice in the dark. Together, we are Paranormal Trilogy. Subscribe on YouTube. Hi, we're here in room one of the Sugarloaf Motel. This room has a very famous or infamous doll, if you will, named Deborah. And I'm going to talk to her and see if I can get any more information out of her. Hi, Deborah. Do you want to talk to me? Yes. I'm curious about your story. You're very pretty. Really. She's not in a very talkative mood right now. Mm. Is the spirit box on? Um, I don't know. I don't hear like a, you know, like a noise from The it. spirit box would be on your phone, right? Yeah. Whose phone? Do you have it on your phone? I don't have a spirit box on my phone. Oh, okay. But I turned my... But I, I did turn my um, Bluetooth off. Bluetooth on to connect with the speaker. Okay, I so can connect mine. So yeah, okay. connect yours. And, 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 and you want to turn mine off? Yeah, yeah, your Bluetooth. Okay. Oh, shit. I got it. Oh, 
those two. Right. Yeah, I don't have room on my phone for any more apps. I need to get some more memory. Let me see if mine works. I got it. I'm connected now. Okay. Oh, red pot's going off again. Okay. So we're going to start this over again, okay? Yes. There we go. There we go. Come on, speak. Okay. Okay, I will speak. What's your name? Such kind of. I turned this back. What do you know about Deborah here? Except that she was a child bride. Yep. Uh, someone that used to, used to own this doll. Their spirit still lingers around here. Oh. Female. So we hey, good morning. Good morning. It's morning. actually evening. Monday the fifth. Monday, Monday the fifth. Me so, well. Hmm. Monday the fifth of what? So, is the person who is connected to Deborah here right now? We're not here to harm anything or anyone. We're just curious. We're investigators. Oh, when you said that, the rim pod started going off. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's okay to talk to me. Deborah. To toughen up. I'm just gonna test it. Oh, you should to toughen, toughen up. up. <laughs> Invasion by. Invasion. By who? I don't know. Invasion by who? Are we talking, what, 1800s? What? The war then? Formed and... By who? And there won't be it. There won't be it? Hmm. Have no... Okay. It's time sensitive. Time sensitive. Hmm. What is time sensitive? Did the heaven be? Oh. Yeah. Whoa, that was easy. Okay, okay. I'm going easy. I'm just trying to get some information. Oh, easy. T's on. Mm -hmm. I would like to speak to Deborah. And drive. Or her previous owner, who I'm aware of. Still inhabiting this room or this area. I know, I like <laughs> that was cute. That was interesting. That was a little girl's voice. The sword of what? Yeah. Deborah. I swear her eyes have moved today. Mm -hmm. A couple of times. But it looks like she's kind of just staring off into space daydreaming. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes she'll move. Mm-hmm. Like. Excuse Almost like she's trying to ignore me. Yeah. Deborah. Somebody want to say something? So I understand that this archway here used to be the entrance to the old tunnels. No to stop. No stop. Hmm. Oh, that's what I understand. That's what I understand. Are there any old miners here that want to talk? It's the 
done? Hmm. What's done? The seed. There's somebody here. Yeah, I do feel it too. And whoever it is just walked into this room right now, Mark's Mars. Are you serious? I yeah. just walked in. Mm. Who's yeah. here? I feel something in his back. <laughs> it's, a, it's a man. What's your name? <laughs> Are you one of the old miners? Designed. Do you have and the, uh, and, the, and what? The shadow minister. The shadow minister. minister. I've never minister. heard of the shadow minister. Hmm. Oh. That's different. So I'm thinking maybe... <coughs> mid to late 1800s. Um, not in this country. Ooh. But maybe somewhere mm -hmm. like the UK, or most likely the UK. There's a man in here demanding you to stop. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Now, he said. Demanding? Where is he? The UK, yeah. Where is he? Mm -hmm. Why do I need to stop? He has on a hard hat and a trump suit. So he's a miner. He's a miner. Not dirty. Definitely a miner. He's holding a um, and weapon. Yeah, he's a miner. Probably just came up out of the mines. Why do I need to stop? Yeah, he's right next to you. Really? I know, but he's standing there. Okay. So can you tell me why I need to stop? Ooh, you, you don't feel that cold, man? <laughs> yeah, I got the cross. Grab Marcy. He's right next to her. Hmm? He's right next to Mars. <laughs> yeah, he's... Where is he? Over here? Right here. Right here? Right here. Right here. Sit in my chair? He's standing next to you. Oh. No. Can I help you? Uh, so when you... Mm. Hmm? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. that Talk so to him, Mars Mars. What can I do for you? We're not here to harm anybody mm -hmm. or hurt anything. Mm -hmm. We are just investigators awesome. and we are curious about you. Do you have anything you want to say? What's his name? Is it Paul? Is your name Paul? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Anyone? Mm-hmm. No. It's like this, he said. Yeah, he's just trying to tell you something, Marcy. I'm listening. You just... Tell me what you need to say. You're what? No, don't stay. <laughs> what? Don't no, want don't. you to stay. It doesn't want you to stay. Well, I'm sorry. That's not up to you. Because I am staying tonight and tomorrow night. Whether you talk to me or not. Watch the suit. <laughs> Watch the suit. Mm. That's what I said. Watch the suit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the only person wearing a suit is Dave. Right. I wonder if they're talking about him. Oh, maybe. Mm. So, what is your name? Is your name Paul? <laughs> what do you know about Deborah? Mm 
No matter, Mike. I'd like to find the person who owned her originally. Are you the female that wanders around here? Right, finally. Well, that was like a British accent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking the UK, England area. Yeah. The miner's walking back into the mine. His, his hat was striped over and his come. black shoes, white top, and he's walking with his lamp like this. So he's mm. leaving? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's leaving now. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, goodbye. It was nice to meet you. I'll be here the rest of tonight and tomorrow if you want to talk. <laughs> Oh. That room pot's going off. See so bad guys. The bad guys, that sound like it's in. Oh wow. What yeah. is going on? There's something, something going on. There's something, yeah. in, in that There's something in that bathroom. You want to catch it? Yeah. Just take a look around. Yeah. See what's in there. Ouch. Who's in here? This shower curtain. Oh man, I got so scared when he pulled the shower curtain aside, you know, all those horror movies. One want nothing to come out of there. Right. <laughs> there was definitely something. So is there something, someone in this bathroom? Do you want to talk? I'm not here to hurt you. We're curious. Here to explore. We're here to explore and if you need help, we can do that too. But you have to talk to me. Hmm. I don't know, they're, they're being quiet. Yeah, no, no, it's quiet. Why do you like hanging out in the bathroom? Hmm. Maybe it was... Maybe it was somebody who drowned in the tub hmm. or had a heart attack in the shower or something. Yeah. Something bad happened in there. Yeah. And that's why that person is still hanging around. Her eyes moved again. Wow. Every time I look at her, her eyes have moved. See? Because I can feel her eyes on me, and then when I look at her, she's looking down. They're quiet now. And her head is more bowed than it was earlier. Soon as her head was straighter earlier. As soon as Siobhan said that the miner left, now, now the spirit box is quiet. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody else who wants to come through and, and talk? Tell us your story? Don't be afraid. Deborah is very quiet tonight. She wow, very quiet. Oh, she obviously doesn't want to talk. I think that we should check But I tell you what, I wake up and she's next to me in the bed. I am coming to your room. I'm pounding on your door till you wake up. <laughs> I'm like, there's no room, Marcy. Oh, I sleep on the floor, I don't care. <laughs> And David could sleep in here with her. I think this is a beautiful... <laughs> What's going on? What the... It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, you're safe. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Shh. No, let her scream. What's wrong? Come on. You're okay. You're safe. What's going on? You want, can you tell me? Why are you screaming? What the Is heck? something after you? Someone? That came through the spirit box just now. That the doll oh. Oh, just 
screaming. That and the red pot's gone off. That was crazy. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? Two, one. Oh, wow, and then the red pot. The oh. doll started fucking screaming and crying. We have it recorded. Oh, there's something going on in here. Ours too. Our rim pop is going crazy as hell. Like, wait till you Whoa. see this video. It's, it's, the, Whoa. I've been screamed for a long time. I'm crying, screaming. It's trippy. Deborah. Wow. I can help you. Maybe I can come down there and turn them to the light. No. No. Not tonight. Not yet. Not yet. Let's see what else we can do. This is amazing. Have you tried the channel? I'm not convinced it's a demon. Yeah, it's not a bad spirit, but something's going on with this doll where she's screaming and crying. If we need like to move, we'll definitely let you know. But we're going to investigate this. Oh my gosh. She was screaming and crying like she was afraid. This yeah, she was. Crazy. That, that was a terrified. That's crazy. That was a terrified scream and That cry. was a terrified scream. Like, I'm still feeling it. Whatever that was. Whatever uh, that was, can you... I might step outside. Okay. Okay. Can you Just tell me minute. what happened? Uh, uh, why are you so afraid? What was that? Wow. Did you hear that? Yeah. We got that on camera. Awesome. All right, Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's still not forthcoming. She was crying and screaming in fear, but... She still won't open up and talk to me. Can I try? Yeah, you want to? No, no, you stay there, Marcy. Oh, okay. You try. Debbie, what are you scared of? Did somebody hurt you? You can talk to us, babe. Just speak. We'll hear you directly. If you need to use my energy, you're more than welcome. We want to find, we want to help you find peace. Are you telling us no? What? That sounded like a freaking elephant. Sound like a demon. Mm, that too. Okay, you know what? Stop it right now. I'm not playing. Let her talk to me. Now. Right now. And I will deal with you later. What? Really? Oh, I don't. Holy shit. No, uh No. You can get to sass me like that. You let me talk to her. Get out? I don't think so. I'm not leaving. Nope. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, and Rim Holy shit. not. We're Whoa. not going anywhere. You let this Whoa. young girl talk to me. Now. Right now. You're not going to scream at us. You're not going to tell us no. Oh, you better stop. Lucifer. Wow. What's your name, you devil? Can, you can do that all your night. I'm not, I'm not running. Okay. You want to do that all night? Now you're just being ridiculous. Say it clear. Wow. We're now you're not making gonna a run. fool out of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> We're not running. Say so get out. Who not doing that either. That? He's scared of something. What are you so scared of? <laughs> Shall we have you run? No. Quit growling at me. You best stop. You don't sound like you're too... You're not scaring me. Jeez. You might You want us gone? Make something happen. Show us something. Show yourself. Come on. Hmm. Oh, now you're going to get quiet. See, I knew it. You're just a chicken. Mm -hmm. you got to hide behind all these 
Where'd he go? All these spirits and all these angels. He retreated. This we called him out. Yes. Great job. Wow. Now are you going to let Debbie talk to me? Or are you the one responsible for Debbie crying? Oh, we might be. Just hmm. might. Don't worry, Debbie. We got you. We're not going to let anybody hurt you. We're not going to let anything hurt you. Wow. That was something. Any None other names? <coughs> any other people? Any other thing want to come through? Got any other miners back there that want to come and say hello? Deborah, you're a beautiful girl. This, this, somebody's coming back. Someone's coming back. Yeah. Where? Where is he? It's another miner. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, just walk through where you are. Oh. Do you want to talk? He. he he, oh, no, no. He, he has a, a tool in his hand, with, like, um, a tool? A chisel. Okay. It, 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 it's, it's, um, like an axe. <gasps> with a maul? Picking? Oh, an uh, axe pick? An uh, axe pick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for, for digging. Axe, <coughs> axe, axe mark. It's oh. right by you. Oh. It's right next? Okay. Right where? By you. By me? Yeah. It's, dr it's drawn from your energy. Oh, Can I help you? <coughs> Ma'am. Hmm. Please don't call me that. I hate that. That's what they say back in the day, though. I know. You can just call me Marcy. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's what do you have to say? Butcher. Butch. I hear her whispering coming through. Yeah. <clears throat> She's whispering something, but it's not loud enough or clear enough for me to get. Yeah. And everybody else is talking over her. Because She's trying. Yeah, oh, I can hear, you the, hear uh, that. I heard yeah. that. She said you got it. Yep. So I hear you. I do. <clears throat> you talk as quietly as you need to. I will listen. And who else is in here? If this is, is draining me. We'll go outside, Sharon. Go get, get some air. I'll lift it off of you. Yeah, go get some air. <laughs> Okay. What are you whispering about? Say it loud. <laughs> Circle? Hmm. Hi. Nothing. I saw something over there. She just whispered nothing. Mm. You don't have to be afraid. Mm. We're here to help you if you want help. Any of you. Any of you. Do we have any miners in here that, that need help moving on? Mm. It's a nightmare. Mm. She just whispered, it's a nightmare. What's a nightmare? I'm going to sit this here. 
so I can grab the SLS and see oh, if I can get a stick yeah, yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> Debra. Hi, pretty girl. Anybody else want to come through and talk? Like I said, we're not here to hurt you. This is our area of expertise. We're investigating. We go where the spirits are. Just one of you come through clearly and talk. Debra, look, her eyes got wider, and she moved her head again. She had her chin down. What do you think's going on, Mars? <clears throat> I think that she's afraid. Oh, there's something standing by Mercy. Tell me. I got a stick figure, automatic, just that quick. Where is it? It's right next to the wall. Over here? No. The other wall by the yeah. Yes. Oh, by the doll. Yes. Like Deborah. Hello. I told you. Can I help you? Hold on. <laughs> Some just popped off in here too. What happened? I don't know, but I heard it. I heard it too. Uh, Wait, don't no, shh me. What is wrong with you? You want to hold this <laughs> and I'll record. <laughs> who is this? I'll tell you who I am. My name is Marcy. And hi. He said hi to me. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, my name is Marcy. Grab that go. And I I speak to spirits that have passed on but may or may not have moved on. So if you need help moving on. I can help you with that. I can hook you up. All I'm asking is for somebody to talk to me and tell me your story. But you have to speak loudly enough to where I can understand you and make out your words. I don't know, this is just weird. Mm. It started with her crying. Yeah. Terrified mm. crying. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah. There's for, somebody for right next to you, my friends. For at least three minutes. Mm. There's somebody mm. coming up out of the, 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 the mirror. Out of the mirror right now. Oh. They're just standing there. Oh, shit. Come mm. on, I gotta get the camera. Right. Let me get behind me. Can I? So I can aim at the aim at the SLS. Who's who's there? Who's coming through the mirror? There it is. There it is. Do you see him? Hello. Okay. They're Who looking at us. He's standing right in the mirror on top of the. Right in front of you, Mars. Who are you? He's like tap dancing or something. Moving around. Yeah. Are you? I'm sure you're just as curious about us as we are about you. You want to talk to me? It looks like it's trying to fight or argue. With me? Yeah, with their hands in the air. Yeah. Oh, I'm not trying to do that. Uh, I'm not going to fight you. Like he's he's going off. Why are you so angry? Are you cat? Are you getting Get this? Out. 
I no. heard a female say get out. I am not leaving. Deal with it. Yeah, I got it on camera. Check that out, audience. Do Deal you with see it. them? I am not leaving. You're doing great, Mars. I just want to know why you're so angry. It looks like they're trying to explain. Is there more of you? I feel like there's more of them. Yeah. I feel like there's more than there's one. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> that there's, there might be a whole, um... He's telling you something. Well, you need to speak through the spirit box so we can understand you. Can you speak through the spirit box? Alright, I think box? he's gone. He's gone now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, nice to know you. Um, Scan the bathroom. Did you do that? Yes. See if there's something in there. This walkie-talkie has a light on it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I know, I just noticed it myself. So, Deborah. So, there's nobody in the bathroom. Okay. Is there something that I can do for you tonight? Wow, but there's definitely something in this mirror. It came back? Or yeah. Or different? A different entity? No. Same one? Deborah. It's standing on top of my head right now. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh-uh, get off my friend. There's two! There's uh -uh. two of them. I knew it. There's two. There's two. Here, let me get it. Where? Wow. One there. You can't get the mirror on it. You can't get the light on it. It goes away. The light doesn't affect that. It's, there was two right there. They just disappeared. That's what happened. So you guys are just going to... Play hide and seek with me. Come on. You're just gonna come out and try to fight me, and then and then slink back to where you came from. That was amazing. Like chickens. I heard someone say you're chicken or something. I thought I heard that. No, I, I am not a chicken. Trust me. I don't run. We need to go to their room. I do not get out. Them too. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Andre. What? There was just one by the microwave. Oh. Oh, they're right. Oh my gosh, they're all over the place. Yeah. Was it another miner? That one, this one was a big one. He's not there now. Oh, shoot. Really big one? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, obviously... So the one's back in the mirror. He looks like he's shooting. Oh, is he shooting us? <laughs> Okay, obviously you're just as curious about us as we are about you. But your bullets can't hurt me. So you might as well save your ammo. And we just want to have a little chat. If you're willing. We just want to, we just want to know about you. And your life. Well, well whoever that right? whoever that demon was that was growling at me, yeah, after after she started screaming, mm -hmm. um, oh my god, what? What's wrong? What? Oh my god, it, it's it's somewhere by it's right there, mm -hmm. but it's huge and it's I don't know what to say about it. It's what is it? Let me see. Oh, you just. Get it on camera or something. I know, I know. But it went away once she moved. It was right there. Keep looking, keep looking. Yeah. So there it is, there it is. Sure. Obviously, you guys are very see curious him? about us. Yeah, Who are, look how much bigger they Who are. are you? Wow. Do you see that? Yeah. That's huge. Like they're sitting back or something. Look. Yeah. And there's nothing, you can't see nothing but this entity right here. Now it's crouched on the floor. And now it's, it's sitting back, leaning back. Like it's... Like it's relaxing? That? I heard tapping noise. So did I. But this one right here with his legs up, talking, he's talking to us. 
Talk, to talk the through the spirit box, box so that yeah. I, we can understand you. I'm more than willing to have a conversation, but I have to be able to understand what you're saying. Take care. Like he is chilling on the ground. Do you see this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a rim pod going off. Yeah. Look, Mars. I can't move, girls. Okay. Oh, it's by E. He blocked it. Ten four. Oh shit! Did you see it? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, it right, is crazy. It's real crazy over here right now. Look. Yep. Oh. He's doing a jig. He's standing in front of the microwave. He's dancing. <laughs> Did you hear that? What did you say? I don't know. It's on the. It's. I I heard oh, something. I didn't say. What did you say or something like that? You dancing? Do a little Irish jig right there in front of my microwave? <laughs> Try talking to him some more. They're still over there by the microwave. What can but I help you with? standing up now. I right in front. I know you're curious about us. We're just as curious about you. We're not here to hurt you. It like doesn't want to go in the bathroom. Why don't you want to go in the bathroom? Is there something bad in there? Debbie. Yes. And then Debbie. Yeah. I'm going to set this down. Okay. Did you hear that? As soon as... Yeah, I'm listening. As soon as I ask... Uh-oh. As soon as I ask if there was something in the bathroom that they were afraid of, they said, yes, Debbie. What? Yeah, Debbie? She, they did hear that. I did hear that. Wow. How is Debbie in the bathroom when she's right here? Wow. What wow. was that? It's like it said, William. Trust. Okay, but trust is a two-way street. Talk, yes, we're talking. But trust is a two-way street. I think you should turn your chair the other way. Okay. So if I, if yeah. you will trust me, I will trust you. There we go. Mars is going to turn her chair towards the doll and see what else we can catch, either a minor or some more <coughs> things from Debbie. Puppy right back. I'm going to let them use this. Wait. I need pause this. We got what we need it. How do we pause it? Why are you pausing? Just keep going. I'm just going to get this to him. Okay. Hi. Oh. Did you hear that? There's a little girl. Okay. I'm kind of scared when I'm doing it. Sure. Oh, she just talked again. She said hi, and then she said what? He's talking to you. Okay. Can I talk to the little girl? Go. Oh, uh, the rim pod. Door in our place starts shaking. <clears throat> Can I talk to the little girl? Should we take a break and go over there? Well, we got a lot of stuff going on here. The door. The door. The door is rattling. It's shaking. It's shaking. Oh. Oh yeah, and our camera's dead. And we what? got things just going off the hook. We might as well go and have it. Have a little Use your phone. Chit chat right there. Use the phone. Do you hear that? <coughs> what? <coughs> You're tired. I know. I'm sorry. <coughs> but if you talk to me, then you can rest. What do you want to do? You go. You go. You to hear that? <sighs> what was that? <coughs> Exhalation of breath. Like, exasperated. I heard that. After I said that. Where are you going? I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, coming with the SLS so you guys can use it. Rim pod's still going off. Again. <laughs> there's definitely something in that bathroom. That's, oh, yeah, yeah, there's it's definitely, it's got to be Deborah. Who's in the bathroom? Debbie, is that you? I heard a female. No. Debbie, you don't have to be frightened, honey. 
We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk to you. We want to know your story. It's not like they said Shabbat. Yeah. Every time I say her name, no. Oh, no, no. We're not doing that now. Hmm. Stop. Yeah. Oh, there was a, there was a male whisper that said, what'd you say? And then, come on. Help. Help. Who needs help? You just have to ask. I can't help you if you don't, if you don't talk to me. Get out. No. Someone said get out. I am not leaving. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to deal with me. I want to talk to Deborah. I know she's there. I know she's here. But for some reason, somebody or something is keeping her from speaking to me. Although every once in a while she gets a word or two in. But she talks so softly like she doesn't want somebody else to hear her. Now it's quiet. Oh, now you got nothing to say. Did they all leave? Do they still have someone near me? Can't tell with the, about the SLS. But it's quiet. I swear to God, her head moved again. Now it's cocked to this, this angle. Oh, wow. Because earlier her chin was down. Yeah. And she was, like, zoning out on something on the floor. And I noticed that her head's moved a couple of times already tonight. And mm. her eyes have moved as well. Yeah. She's just... I think she's just observing... She's just watching right now. Yeah. I've already reassured her that I'm not going to touch her. No matter how much I want to because she's beautiful. I'm not going to touch her. And I'm not going to hurt her. I'm just here to talk to her. Whoa. What the hell was that? What was that? Wow. That, that sounded was not like cool. a prehistoric dinosaur screech. Wow. That was crazy. I wonder if that's who's keeping her from talking. What the heck? Whoever you are, if you're holding Deborah, you need to let go of her right now. Oh no, uh uh. Uh, no. No, 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 no. You don't scare me. Wow. Let go of Deborah right now. Let her go. Because I can have somebody down here in two minutes to vanquish you. Wow. We got a scream that came out of there twice already. Like a, like like a speed demon scream. scream. And I told him, I, I, the first time I said, ah, oh, no, we're not doing that. When right. he did it again, I said, you better stop. Yeah. I said, if you're holding Deborah, which I think he is. Yes. I said, you need to let her go. So that she can come and talk. Huh. And now he's quiet. Just like the other demon. I told him, I said, if you want to play, I got somebody I can get down here in five minutes who will vanquish you. Right. And I don't want to do that. Because I want to talk to him. Yeah, find out what's going on here. <laughs> he doesn't have, you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be scary. He's already told me to get out a couple more times. Oh, wow. I said, no. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. Right. There he is. So you're back, huh? You don't scare me. You might as well just stop. Because you just sound silly now. We're not <laughs> these other paranormal <laughs> teams. Exactly. We will face you. We will. So go ahead, say something. 
any miners want to come through, say anything. Talk to your family. Leave a message. Deborah, if you have something to say, if they release you, which so, I pray they do, so you can say what's on your mind. So I've heard her a couple of times. Her voice is very small and diminutive and she sounds like a little girl uh -huh. and she talks very, very softly because she doesn't want somebody to, to hear her. Them up. Yeah. To hear her. So. Oh, stop it. Now you're just being silly. Andre, you have any questions? No. I never heard anything like those things come through the spirit No, that's like before. a... That's like a medieval scream. Like, I've never heard anybody screaming and crying for somebody to yeah. help like that ever through that box. No, I know. That's the first time for me, too. Wow. But since she did that, whoever's got her has got a tighter grip on her. Yes. Because she's... Because she was Scared trying to get to away. Speak. Yeah. She was trying to get away. She was crying. Yes. And begging for help. And so whoever is holding her. It's got a stronghold. Got a stronghold on for her. For sure. And yeah. doesn't want her to talk to anybody. Maybe mm. that's why she's never left the sugar loaf. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's why she's stuck here. Mm hmm. But then they said that's her in the bathroom, too. So. Yeah. Hmm. I felt like somebody was following me when I went Probably outside. Did. Really? It felt so eerie, like somebody was right on my back, you know? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it was one of the miners. It could be. Because we're right because next to the... Yeah. And they're curious about us as well. Just as well, yeah. yeah. Just as much. Mm -hmm. but, but we they, mean no but harm. they don't want to talk. We might have to take a break, because the camcorder is about to die. All right. Okay. So we could take like a... All right, we're in room five. Lula and Lisa have already experienced some activity here tonight. Want to tell the viewers a little bit about it? Um, we kept well. Lisa felt something really strong over there, and then we kept hearing knocks, little knocks, like. And um, and <coughs> in the bathroom, I kept hearing. It was really weird. It wasn't water falling, but it was like, beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> so, yeah, we've gotten some stuff here. Hello, you, Lisa. You want to tell them a little bit about what you're feeling from this corner? There is a massive amount of energy over there. Um, very strong. I get the sense that it's a he and he's sitting there watching us. He's just watching us, waiting, see what we're about. But he's definitely there. Knocking, knocking on the wood a little here, like that, every so often. And we got some of that down in that room too. Yeah. We got we got some yeah, we got some knocks and it first started out like little pebbles were bouncing back and forth and then it turned into full knocks. We got some of that too. It yeah. kept sounding kinda of like there was somebody in the bathroom and there was yeah. not. There was yeah. just the two of us in there. Oh yeah. well, we got we got um we got people speaking. I I heard when we first checked in and and not since, but when we first checked in, I heard what sounded like somebody muttering, like, yes. yes, we've been hearing a lot of that. So we're in a, when we get the spirit box down here, we will find out. Yes, we will. Wow. Right there in the corner, right where you said he was. Yeah, I said it right there. Uh, give us a second, we're, we're bringing our equipment to the room one. Okay. And I have one eyelash. Over okay. One so, the one that's making this rim pod, because the only way you can make the rim pod go, uh -huh. is you need to touch that oh. antenna. Go back and touch it again. So go ahead and touch it, and I know you're trying to communicate with us. Uh, Lisa will be doing the communication. Yeah, that was going off. 
Yeah, yeah, it was. He was wondering what that was, is what he was doing. He's like, what is this in my space? Yeah. Dang, I'm starting to get shaky already from the Red Bull. Damn it, stop. Let me finish my mascara. She's not the Red Bull. The liquid crack. All right, so we want to get our base readings first to make sure we're not getting un, untrue readings. So you want to take your reader here first. This is what I'm doing. And you want to walk around the room and find if there's any hot spots. Because this picks up electricity too, so you have to be careful. So it'll like spike sometimes on these, see? So you want to make sure you don't get false readings. So you want to go around your room, wherever you are, if you have electricity in here, and make sure so the TV is okay. The cable box puts off energy, so you want to make sure you're not getting false readings. That's really important. Oh, yeah. Especially, I'll show you over here, in our spot where we're getting activity, we have to be really careful because the microwave jumps it all the way up. Oh, even when it's not running. Right. So you have to be really careful about your base readings. But yeah, the fridge is okay. You just got to be careful. Always make sure you take your base readings first to get true measurements. Cool. Yeah. So now so we go. Does it look like it's got too much around the room on, on this first pass, huh? Oh, and the fan. Okay, so the microwave and the fan and the cable box seem to, seem to be pretty high. Alright. Start making sure all our equipment's working already. <coughs> He's getting our voice spirit box working. Alright. Should be good now. So base reading earlier, it wasn't on the camera, but there was nothing here. Well, you can speak to us. See how it's changing now? It was all the way up to almost orange. We're listening if you want to talk to the voice box over there. I heard him in here. Were you a... Alright. Uh, were you in the Navy? Second kind. Of this one. Maybe that's the death. He couldn't understand us. Say that again. I know that voice. Say it again. Are you Russian? Are you foreign? Are you foreign? That was yeah. That was Asian. What was that? I just went through that. Wanting you. Wanting you. Needles. That sounded like wanting you. Yeah, he wants me to back yep. up. Yep. He's like, back up. We got somebody back here in this corner for sure. Who are you? He was just in our bathroom, too. Ooh, I'm getting cold. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Look at Yeah, we got some big Ooh. Okay. So, when you 
want to say? Talk to us. We can hear you. We got three different things here. We know you're there, but we want to hear what you have to say. You seemed interested. Suddenly went quiet. Yeah. Where'd you go? You're a roamer, aren't you? That is where you like to live. I wonder if it's all going to go at the same time in both places. You know, like both rooms. Like that was pretty interesting. It's kind of seeming like yeah. it. Same time. Wow. Every time. And he's traveling definitely back, back and forth from the bathroom. We think he might be Indian, Native American. You want to tell the viewers about what just happened? I just got hit by a rock outside. It, oh, it yeah. came out of nowhere and hit me right here. No shit. Are you okay? Yeah. My hat protected me, I guess. But I was going to grab the SLS and oh, bam. Go find it. Wow. And I say absolutely. Sorry, what? Sick of the media. Oh my god, he doesn't. Sick of the media. I'm sick of the media. If you're sick of the media, go touch that. Let us know. Go touch the light up there, the antenna. 
Yeah, he's like, absolutely. And then he said, I'm, I'm sick of the media. Because I was like, oh, are you going to go chase him down? Yeah. Demon, you just announced yourself. I've been looking for you. So say some more. You don't like the media. You're going to cry about it? <laughs> Yes. It's that deep voice too. That's that. that's demonic. Yep. So you know who I am, right? You can't. Oh you can. gosh. Oh. 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 Yeah. Get in the goose. <laughs> yeah, I can. Watch him. And he will. Did you hear that? Yeah, it, it wasn't. Come out of no, the it didn't. It came out from somewhere it else. It was over by you. It was like a growl almost. <laughs> yeah, it was a growl. I heard that. So you hear? I heard it. Yeah, we hear you. We know you're here. You can't make yourself down. make yourself known. Open something. Yeah, don't back Touch out now. Touch the rim pod. We know you're here. We have evidence concrete now. You think you're strong? You think? <laughs> you didn't beat the scientists either. I already did my base readings, buddy. But the thing is, is you pronounced yourself, so I know you're here. Yeah. <laughs> so come on. Do something. Touch that rib body. What did he say? He said prick. Oh, I thought he said break. He said prick? He called me a prick? <laughs> well, you motherfucker. You bitch? Oh, he's he just called you a bitch. I know. I think maybe he called you a witch. Oh, I am a witch. Let's go. He's calling you out. Let's go. I'm not afraid of you either. Hey, hey. Do something. Make that rim pod, and then I'll I'll know where you're at. All I have to do is feel your slimy breath, and I will protect myself. Interesting. Yeah. Well, let's try it. Come on. <laughs> you can feel their breath. Me? Oh yeah. On my neck and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, oh. Think, I think he was breathing on my arm earlier, actually, because I kept getting spots. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what yeah. I was talking about. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Come on, speak. I was trying to sleep and I was like, spell out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, there you go. Oh, there Come you on. go. So you're over there. Here I come. You are right there. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Let me go check. Oh. <laughs> that that's what? That's oh, like a he's little still kid. striking him. Yeah. Are you... Are you trapped? Are you got me. Got an idea. Yeah, I got an idea too. Oh, that so you're getting... Mm -hmm. This still. is my idea. Getting a lot right there. Yeah, solid. Wow. Just in the window frame. Mm -hmm. Listen to my oh, idea. Yeah. Or in the shower. Let's see, yeah, uh, over here. Let's see what happens. Oh my oh. God. What the hell? Ooh. Gosh. That dude. was chill. So look at these ones now. That was some good ones. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I got an idea. Remember when you said you got an idea? I got an idea too. That was creepy. That was so creepy. Communicate with me so I can send you to the light. Ooh, buddy. You don't have to be stuck here. Uh, oh. You've probably been stuck here for almost 200 years. There's no need for you to be here. And if a demonic presence is keeping you down, if I want to send you the light, they can't hold on to you. Whatever it is, it's definitely listening to you. I can feel that. They are definitely listening. So give me, just keep on talking to me. Answer my question. I know you're still here, too. I can still see you. And you want to go to the light.
What did he say? Get out of here, Lou. He's leaving. Yeah, he's he's. That's what it sounded like he said. Like maybe he tried to do the scream to scare me. Yeah, he's not in the bathroom anymore. He said, yeah. he said, get out of here, Lou. Try me. Try us all. Let's go. You know your your time is up. As soon as I get these, as soon as I get your trapped slaves to the light, you're never gonna have nothing. And that means is this you and I. You and I. So anybody want to go to the light, say something. I heard that. That was not in there either. That was a, a girl or a woman. Yeah. It was like, ah! Oh. Did you hear that? No. It came from like almost outside almost. We got someone that wants to go to the light. Maybe he's not letting her. This is, yeah, this is what I'm going to determine here. Keep on speaking. Bed me. See you, investigate. Oh, I see you, investigate. Oh! I'm going to send you to the light. I see you, investigate. But you gotta, you got to tell me that you want to go to the light. I can't make you. I can't force you. I see you, investigator. That was. Is it here? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. What's oh, that? so you want to go to the light. Oh, I just heard it. Does your thing make noise? Mm-hmm. Does it say something? It did. Let me check. It sure did. It said talk. Okay. I'm feeling it said since I turned it on, but you can see the anomaly right here too. Oh, see? Oh, it's picking up your camera maybe. But you said taut. Oh yeah, my phone's definitely he's just traveled all the way through here. He's scientific. Yeah, hi. <laughs> yeah, we got all the scientific equipment. Now my phone's good. Yeah. We don't speak Elvish, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you won't let you speak on one, you can try another one too. Yeah, there's there's that's three, three different ways. three different ways. They all work different different wavelengths. <laughs> What'd that say? Okay, so, again, um, please tell me if you want to go to the light. That's where your loved ones are. You don't need to be stuck here. Every time. Well, not this time. No, <laughs> this is for real. Once I ask the universe to open up the light, you're going to see it. We won't be able to see it, but you will see it. And we'll feel it. we got to get you away from this demonic presence because he's just using you for energy. You're like, a, you're, you're like a buffet for him. They might be promising you everything, but it's not true. And your fear feeds them. Your fear feeds them. That's why they keep you scared here. Do you want to tell the viewers a little bit about this whole, this whole <laughs> structure of how the how the dark presence holds the spirits? We we've talked about it. We've talked about it before in in previous episodes. But you want to put your perspective on it? I would yeah. I think that there are different kinds of, there's ghosts, spirits, demons, presence, all kinds of different things like that. Oh, you cried. Oh, and I believe that specifically the demonic ones, just like with us humans, they feed off our fear. 
They like so, and spirits are easier to keep trapped because they're forever. So if they can get a nice, healthy, scared spirit like a little kid, yeah, like a little kid, um, they will keep them as long as they can. Because they like all that tasty energy. Tasty energy. Tasty energy, especially a scared kid that doesn't know he died, she died. Yeah, like that little girl. Yeah. She would communicate with me. Be terrified. But what I'll do is even if they don't, I'll just open up the light and maybe once you go to it, it'll be open for a while. And he can't stop you. You can go. No. And you then can I'll, go. I'll deal with him. Fourth and ninth? Fourth and ninth? Fourth. That said fourth and that said ninth. And now it's pinging. Are you talking about the streets? Did you want to tell him a little bit about yeah, this device? Exactly. So this is actually on my phone. Um, but I know a lot of you probably have your skepticism about using things around electricity. That's why, like I say, you have to get your base uh, readings. Is, what was that? Sound like bus or buzz. Um, so this, it, this doesn't work off EMF or anything like that. It works off quantum uh, fluctuations. And if you know anything about our quantum projects we've done here, trying to do the quantum canum, and they think it is for spirits and stuff like that. So it shows you the fluctuations in here. You can also pick up words on where they are um, linearly and longitude, you know, horizon and vertical. And then down here it'll show you when one's going to pop up and where, see the little letters right there? Sort it out. But, and then on this radar you'll have green, yellow, red, blue, and blue with a little white point in it. And that is how strong the yeah. um, energy is. Yeah. And this particular one, um, actually, after a couple minutes, will weed out all of the other stuff like the TVs, the lights, the fridge. Anything perpetual that stays, electrical-wise, it'll eliminate it. That's a pretty smart app. It is. What, what's that one called? It's called Ghost Radar. It's one of the oldest, one of the oldest rep apps. Yeah, and I've oh. had it from when it first came out. I really enjoy this app I, a lot. I used it for a while, and then I said... They yeah. updated it again. It's really good now. I really like it. I like the, uh, You like to try and scare the screen. You're going to have to do better than this, buddy. This is not, this is not scary. Are you Am being scared? tortured? Who wants to go to the light again? Remember, that's where your love is. You're waiting for me. This presence here, he don't give a, he don't care about you. So are you, are you like torturing those people because they're talking to me? You will get yours. In the end. That was really clear. Come on, keep it? on talking. You're listening. And you can use all of these. What? Rip. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know. We can help. Oh, or was it we didn't know? Not oh. sure. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense that you don't know because the light, he'll, he'll keep you from the light. See, you didn't. What happened to you when you died, or whenever you died? Right now, you are remembering what you remembered. So all, all the environment, place up. All the environment that you see is perfectly all right to you because it all, it didn't change. But a person like me comes in, and I'm going to tell you the, the date. It is January 14th, 
2024. Now tell me how you feel about that. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm not thinking that might. Let's see, you're getting something. Yeah. So. Whoa. I, I just heard, heard that. a voice right in the I, right in the chair. I heard I heard and then I, that over there like teamed or something like somebody yeah. hit it. Yeah. Do we got somebody sitting in this chair? We seem to get presences in chairs a lot. Oh yeah. Oh man, if you were to sit in this chair, I'm telling you, you'd feel something. So we're using a lot of scientific equipment to detect and communicate with spirits. Now, what would you say to someone that, really? that tried to tell you that real science proves that the spiritual is nonsense and that we just stop existing when we die and that's all there is to it yeah. and we're just wasting our time and entertaining fools? Because I, I have friends that try to tell me that kind of stuff right. all the time. So what, what would you say to someone like that? That is impossible. There is way too much real evidence out there that I have seen personally, and I'm a very scientific person, and I will debunk everything as much as I can, Smoke. but I, there is definitely something out there, and there's way too much proof. I would tell you to go look it up. Go start doing research. Before you judge, make sure you look at both sides. Don't just say there's nothing. Go look. Like I've, got, I've got a couple friends I'd like to bring along on one of these investigations Definitely. just as a guest, but the, the catch-22 of it is that they wouldn't want to come. They would just think it was nonsense. Right, they'd come right. in that first little tap on their shoulder and they'd be out the door and go. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived with ghosts my whole life, though. I've always had experiences. I've always had things happen since five or six I lived in a house that was haunted he'd mess with the heater and then from there it just everywhere I always went I always had ghost encounters and there's just no denying it there's just at a point you can't keep denying it you have to just say okay I, I feel the same way my, my dad had a guest trailer on his property where he used to stay during my summer visits and there was, I, I always knew, me and my stepbrother and my sister, we all knew that there was somebody that walked softly up and down the halls at night, sometimes turned on the water, yeah. sometimes turned the radio on very softly, that kind of thing. My, my dad said, oh, absolutely not, you kids are being silly. Yeah, and, yeah my dad used yeah. to spank us for turning the heater up. Oh, no. And the ghosts would laugh. Oh, no. Oh, he used to trick me all the time. There was one time I was home alone. Upstairs, all the lights were off. He turned on all the lights downstairs, and I heard my dad and my mom come home and go, Oh my god, the house is a mess. I ran downstairs, every light was on, and nobody was home. That ghost set you up. He loved to set you up all the time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so you can't deny stuff like that. I mean, who turned on all the lights? The door's locked, nobody's down there. Right, right. Not, you know, they all turned on. I mean, you could maybe try to say it was an electrical malfunction, but eh. yeah. See, there's just some things you can't explain. Exactly, I completely agree. You try, and I try. Like I said, I try. Like the mystical noises in the abandoned places. Maybe those are animals. You never know. You gotta think. About you gotta, it. yeah. You gotta rule out the weather balloons. Right, and that's, yep. that's the kind of person I am. But there's just too much. There's, there's just too much. Absolutely. I think the viewers will agree. I think that's why they tune in. I think so, yeah. I think they're curious. Hunt it down. Raised up small and hunt it down. Hunt it down? Who? Who are you hunting? I just want to know who wants to go to the light. And don't be afraid. It's just all come. Happening. Come forward and say, the light is happy and love. That's all that's allowed there. It's happy and love. That's all you can take with you. Oh, but like I was explaining, when you died, you had a chance to go to the light. But you decided you were going to stay back. And you, you stayed back and the light went away. Because you thought you could solve your problems or anything like that. But right now you're stuck. And you shouldn't have to be stuck. Mm -hmm. 
you hit. Okay. That's terrible. Okay. Uh, all right. You got a cut on that. That was. Oh, well, we've got a 29-minute segment, and that was off. Uh, I hope we got it. You're right off the hook, right off the bat, man. Oh wait, now we're rolling again. I didn't even. Okay. No, it's <laughs> we have it recording. Tell her about no. the screams. Oh, wow. Tell her about we the have screams. screams. We had screams here. Our voice box. And we got the rim pod going out, going crazy now. Oh, it's freezing in there. And we got a demonic presence. Oh, here. it's freezing. Oh, stop moving. He's running. He's running. Long time of crying. He's gone. It's trippy. The cold air sucked right out as soon as I felt him. He was Maybe like, I'm out. Come down oh. there and send him to the light. Where are you? Stop playing games. Oh, not yet, not yet. This is what else we can capture. This is amazing. Yeah, this have is you, great. Have you tried the channel? Yeah, it's not a bad spirit. There's something going on with this doll where she's screaming and crying. We need to investigate that now. But we're going to investigate it. He's playing games with him. Okay, yeah, we're going to... We're going to... Well, Oh, we're gonna do that. I told too. you he's playing games with me. Yeah. Where are you? Stop jumping around. So. Oh, it's freezing up here. The shelf is ice cold. Every time I feel him, he backs out. And then he goes in the bathroom, yeah, and then he. He's like going out. So he's okay. So what I'm feeling is he's coming up here, touching this, like because his walls aren't anything in them. So he's coming up and touching this, and running around out back. Because when I, I feel him, he goes out back, he comes back in, and he runs back around, he messes with this, he runs, he's running in a circle. That's like something a tag. kid would do. He's playing tag. Yeah. Do you think it's a kid? No, I think it's a, a, a demon. Oh. And I think maybe they have one of the kids down there or something. Yeah. Oh. What are you saying? Responses. Oh, paper? Make something Yeah, wow. Come on, stop playing. Because huh? I noticed I was watching, Ooh. and I know. See, I noticed somewhere oh, uh, in here, like sometimes in the window, it stays on two. Something's dots. right here. Yeah, I felt it a second. Ago. Something is definitely right here. It's very cold. <laughs> Very cold, and you're right next to the heater. Yeah, and it's flickering a little. It's really cold in this heater. So you don't think that's a kid, even though that's no. something like a kid would do? Go, hey, you well, don't get me. Or they're going to play like a kid. Oh. Demons. <clears throat> Demons can uh, do whatever they want. They do. Yeah, they act. They, he thinks it's fun. He's having fun with us right now. Do you think sometimes that they fool us like that, that we think it's a kid, we think it's an innocent soul, we feel sorry for them? Oh, all drawn, the time, all the time. I've been drawn into a battle. All the time. In uh, uh, Susanville, the, the crazy place, as they called it. And um, there's a little girl, and I was walking, the, I was walking the floor, the very top floor, and that's when we went by this doll that was on the, the ground. And then when I came back, it was sitting up. <laughs> so we, we went by that, but I heard, help me, help me. There was a little girl. I said, little girl, I'm coming to you. So I go down the, I go from the third to the second, and, he, and she goes, help me, help me. So she's down in the basement, right? So I go down in the basement, and we go through these big double doors. And we go into this, it's like a makeshift, kind of like, uh, they, they built it right in the building. 
And so we went in there and we were walking around and something heavy came down, man. I mean, I couldn't even describe it. But I said, we got to get out of here. And so when we got... Something the, heavy, do you mean like a, a literal physical object or like a, a feeling? No, an object, man. It shook oh. the whole... I would say it shook the whole hospital. Oh, wow. And so then we're going to get out and then I see, I hear... And then I hear the boom, and the wall, the wall goes boom. Oh, wow. And, I back and I'm like, oh, man. And I didn't have, I didn't have my knife. Oh, no. So I'm like, oh, man. And so Andre, he's like filming. And we didn't know by, by that time the doors were being shut like this, slowly. So, so then... I go, well, I know the universe is with me. So I bless the screw. Chaperone. <laughs> I bless the screw, right? It's about this long. And I said, I, I held it like I hold my knife. And I said, help me to, to take out this demon because this is all I got. And so this demon well, wanted to come through the wall. So I did my, my, uh, my ritual took him out. While I'm taking him out, the chair that was sitting there, it's an office chair, comes rolling by itself. Like, you know how you go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It like that, and I seen it, and I kicked him. I said, hey, I kicked him. Oh, and I, I took him back, mm -hmm. and I'm the audio, and you hear him go, whoa, motherfucker. Yeah, childish game. I'm going to come wee, roll by it. But, yeah, but, but talking about a little girl, that was a demon get this into uh, a problem and so I've learned to discriminate if it's you know is it a little girl or is it a demon how do you do that I, I know how I do but I want to hear you how you do I will I will sit there and talk you know and I will listen for words this is how I find out there's a demon mm -hmm. they'll usually say 300 years oh uh, They'll usually say dead. They'll usually say um, before time. <laughs> and um, or how about like threats and like get out and that sort of thing. Well, but I mean, like if you feel a child or you see a child and you're going after them, how do you can you determine then? Yeah, and then I know. Them? Then I know. I always how I tell is they jump around and they play like little kids. Oh, yeah. Like, but they're mischievous about it. You're like, come to me and, and, you know, like, come to me, come, or whatever, communicate some way. Usually, most kid spirits are curious. Yeah. They're not, you know, they're not, they're scared, they're curious, they're not going, hee, hee, hee. You know, it's just, that's how I kind of discriminate. Like, another, another, hmm. uh, interesting. Where I got, yeah. Where I got fooled by a games. little kid yeah. was in Eden. Now, supposedly, this little girl fell down the mine shaft, right? Trying to get her ball. You're, oh, my so, theory! He just said theory. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's my theory. Right on. Some of these definitely listening to everyone we're talking about in here tonight. Completely stops when we're sharing our stories. So, so what I did is I put a toy down and I sat down and said, "Why don't you come over here and play with the ball?" And I said. It said no. Oh. And then I said, oh. come on, I'm here for you. I I want to see you push the ball. And it said no. And then mm -hmm. I said, come on, would you please? And it said, oh, there you go. No. Yeah. And then I said, thank uh. you. Because <laughs> a kid would probably want to play with the ball. Right? You would think so? You would think so. But um, what I want to do. What I want to do is, get, I want to try to get more voices, if they'll, if they'll touch me. Yeah. So then I can open up the light. I would like to send somebody, personally, but I can open it up and leave it open. But I would, I would like to have the audience see one that goes to the light. 
you know how it feels, Dave. I do. I do know how it feels. It's the most incredible feeling. I, I mean, I don't know how to describe it in a way it's like more gratifying than sex or any drug. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a feeling of complete euphoria and That's relief. Love. That's all you're allowed to take is happiness and love. Have you ever done it? No, I felt it. <laughs> I've never done it myself, but I feel it. It's like the sun comes out, the birds are chirping, and it's the best day. It's just I the best day. Willfully. Yes, I want you to go willfully. I, <laughs> I want you to go to the light willfully. Um, we we sent this kid. He was killed in Jackson. Yeah. And every time we go down there, I would feel somebody grabbing me and, it, and trying to pull me back. Oh, and yeah. I never had time. Yeah. So when I came back one time, we went by there and I felt this big pull. And I said, Dave, turn around. I gotta send this Aww. I gotta send this guy to the light. Yeah. We went there by his grave and when we walked up it's not even his grave, it's his it's his crash site. It's his crash site. And I walked up and you could feel like it was like energy. And then I I said, I'm here to I'm here to send you to the light. And it it was like he just he jumped and grabbed me and was just was using me. And then I said, Okay, get off of me and We'll, we'll do this. And I said, go to, I said, Dave, you got to help me do this. And I said, go to Dave. And he literally went for me and jumped on Dave. And Dave can explain that part. At that point, I had never sent anyone to the light before. And they were kind of gave me, gave me some helpful pointers about about bringing, bringing the energy up from the ground and I, I just kind of went through the motions and went along with it not really sure that you know that I was going to be aware that anything was really happening but at that time I felt this this pulse of energy that, that came up, up through my shoes like up from the sidewalk and, and up my spine just like a like an electrical current that's the only way I can describe it and then and then that that current went up my arms and out my fingers and just into the sky and and it was just this incredible feeling of of relief and release and I mean, you know, some somebody's not going to believe it. Somebody's going to be a skeptic. Somebody's going to say, well, you can convince yourself of anything. But I know that, that that soul that was trapped in that spot on the side of the road went on to a place of peace and light. And, and, and I mean this with all respect. If, if some members of his family are watching and feeling that we had no right to, to interfere, I want them to know that, that what we did was out of respect and love and that he is at peace now. Right on. Here you go. That's okay, so did you hear that? We can go. Oh, the really? last one. It said, "Will um." I will stay. Oh, what are you doing? It's up to you. You can stay or you can go. But don't let. Well, I'm gonna take this demonic oh. presence out. And I just heard. I just heard knocks. And my leg is getting. Did you hear those knocks? I did. Oh, now it's gone. There was something on my leg. It's gone now. Really? Yeah. On. So, anybody out there? Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, come on. Is it my wand? I think it's my wand. The power in my wand is setting it off. Oh. <laughs> oh. I used it last night. So. You gotta do both. I use like uh, like crystals and stuff, and I charge this. It's selenite. Uh -huh. I don't think I'm saying it right. And it's a uh, chakra point. So it's setting the. How, 
how so, do you charge it? Um, so, and what I believe, left is leaving and right is receiving. So you want to, first you've got to fill yourself full energy. And how I do it is I envision a ray coming down of light. And you can feel it. It'll go in your body. And you put it either wherever you want it or what you're doing. And I'll have it travel down my right arm and into my whatever I'm charging. And then I'll usually sleep Ooh. with it under the pillow the next, that night. Oh. Do you You're charge you by moonlight at all? Yeah, I, I, I sometimes I do, yeah. Your name is Elsie. Elsie, you, know, you want to go to the light? She just came on. Elsie, that's an old name. It is. But it's a beautiful name. Do you want to go to the light? Speak. You can speak through these things. No. Who's going to follow? He said he will follow. He won't be able to follow. He's a weak one. He's not that. No, he's powerful. a low class. He's yeah, a low why class he's playing demon. child games with us. Yeah, he's a low class. Yeah, he's not very strong. You, he won't follow you. We'll make sure he doesn't follow you. Don't worry about it. It seems like you're a little girl. Is that the voice I heard on the speaker? You guys just see all the lights flicker at once? They all flicker. All of them. So tell me, tell me that you want to go and then I know others will follow. up the light here. Wow, I feel cold. It's freezing over here, yeah. Oh, and that's where it keeps popping up to. Wow, it's it got cold in here all of a sudden. It is very cold in here. Oh, this one everywhere is cold. I can't, it is very cold. I can't figure out where it's coming from. Hmm. Maybe he showed up. I think he did. I think that's why I got cold. It's real cold. Yeah, it's real. There he is. Is there a special right. significance to purple light? Look at this one right here. Purple. Oh, it's not. Yeah, there's something right here. It just showed me on that. Postman. Postman. Yeah, the different lights. Um, what I think is telling you how close it is. Oh. I wonder if it's how aggressive. And the energy how aggressive. Is. Yeah. When it goes red, you know it's red. Okay, it's in the back. In the bathroom again, out the window. Yep. He keeps running around in circles. Well, okay. So let's... He's just coming with us. Let's, uh, let's do this thing where I'm going to open the light. <coughs> so we can get these, whoever wants to go. 
and then I'll get rid of that I'll get rid of open them. Open the window and you skedaddled. <laughs> I'll get rid of them and mm -hmm. then I'll deal with the demon. So can we cut now? I'm gonna smoke for a second. I have a question. So do you wanna to speak to us? Broken back. Broken back. What's wrong? You don't want to play more games with us? Are you bored? Broken back, huh? Play a different game. I know you're still there. You're out back. You need to come back. We're going to come find you if you don't. <laughs> yeah, and the, the windowsill is where I get to, at least, when he's backed out there. Right? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, viewers, incidentally, you are unaware of the transition when you're watching the episode when we switch from recording with one device to another. But if you've been following this, the kind of subplot of this whole thing is that this camera, the one I'm filming with now, turned itself off as if it were out of charge. We filmed with the phone for a little while, and then, uh, just as mysteriously, I turned this thing back on, and it says I've got three full bars, and it's filming and recording and working just fine. Every time we stop talking, that goes off. The other response, or whoever. Wooden box. One box. Huh? Are we like talking a about a grave? Like a coffin? So I have to say, um, oh. Has anybody with the light? Guilty. <laughs> oh. Wow, okay. Tell us about that. That's interesting. Were you home? You can talk into that box. So, the silence tells me that some of you went to the light already. Is there anybody hanging back? Don't feel that sense of relief and satisfaction, though. Do you? Richard. Richard. Maybe the guy's Richard, the one that said not guilty. Maybe we have another one popping in. That's what it feels like to me. This is a different person. Richard. We have a Richard here now, yeah. Richard, cowboy. Are you the one 25 ish, dirty, dirty, scruffy, blonde, brown man. Wow, that's amazing. So you can. I just almost fell over from doing that, sorry. You can, you can see this I can individual. Feel it. I can't see him. I can. I can. I just know it. I just know it. I, it's so hard. I know it sounds silly, but I just close that my eyes. That doesn't sound silly. And I can. I. I can't picture it, like my mind doesn't work that way, but I'm getting the information and it's translating to how it is. What my dad didn't have his hat either and that really bothers him. What year do you think he's 19, from? 19, 10, 15? Oh. Maybe. So good. Oh. Yes, do you need me? I've got to get the camcorder so I can start charging it. We're taking a little break and then we're going to start up again. Are you 
are not going to believe this, Andre. David said goodbye to the camera. Now it's full, it's fully charged on Talk to the box. Tell us your name. Is this Richard? Okay, don't touch. Stop touching. Is this Richard? Stop touching if it's Richard. Okay, touch it if you're Richard. Alright. Is this Richard? Hi, Richard. Are you the cowboy? Touch it if you're the cowboy. <coughs> you're not a cowboy? Did you get hung? Touch this for yes or no, okay? See? Your name's Richard. It's okay. Come in. You're right here. We got it. Well, that camera said something. Dave wants to go down, right? Yeah. And then say goodbye. Huh. Right? So we start filming with Michael. And it's not, look, you guys. It's not no. false. I'm not even near the wall. So that would rule out electrical like wires in the, in the in the wall, That's yeah. Right. Putting it up so high, but that bars are up. Oops, sorry. Camera's away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if he's looking at this. No. Look, guys, see? You scientific. You gotta check everything. But look, see. Yep. Yep, I think it could rule out any any other power sources. All of a sudden it's working. Oh. See, okay, and that's nothing. Look at if this interferes. Yeah, we had a lot of weird, we had a lot of yep. crying on the stereo. Oh, I don't know. Okay, come out here. Yeah, come out here. Come yeah. talk to us. Yeah. Here, will someone take this from me? I know, and she said it started crying or something. Yeah. I was gonna tell you, David. Later, you need to record the doll, what it actually does, and and all that. That one bear, right? Like so they can put that together and go. This is what the doll is. And Why don't we put a tripod camera on the doll? Like even yeah. after we finish tonight, oh, just to there. just to run. Ooh. But we definitely got to get a shot of it and how it's supposed to just be and what it actually sounds like. Mm hmm. Yeah, Rum Run is very active. Deborah's hiding in the bathroom. That's what we got from the spirit box. We have a Richard here now. Uh, we got a couple of miners that came through and was arguing oh, and telling us to get out. I'm sure. Okay, all right. You're very dirty individual is probably a miner because I, they're I very dirty. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I didn't have a hat. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And, uh, the speaker's dead. Oh, wow. So they might have went. So yeah. now, when we get back, when we get back from our break, yeah, I'm gonna go after the demon. Oh, the bed was shook. Oh. My bed oh. shook. Wow, did you get that on camera? It wasn't really detectable on camera. Oh, uh, look, come back in here now. But I oh, didn't. No, it's still I didn't. Know. Know. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's interference well, here somewhere. Let's see. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. It was a snarl. Yes, it was a snarl. It was a very loud snarl. Yes. It said. <laughs> You heard that? Oh, oh, yeah. Remember what yes. I was See? Yeah, I'm going to have to check this out. And see. Yeah, we'll take care of it tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> and he's all growling at Marcy and stuff. I'm not kidding. He's like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you, and I'm going to get whoever is with you. Real clear as day. Oh, and wow. the, the speaker said something about me. Oh, yeah. It's a get out of here, Lee. Oh, yeah. God. I yep. sit down. Uh, I almost just fell over. Oh. Holy cow, I'm so dizzy. Are you okay? Ooh. What is it? Ooh. It says, what is it? Hmm. This thing's been going off, man. I mean, every time we speak to you. Are you okay, Lisa? I'm okay now. I almost died. Okay. I don't. I this thing will say wow. something. Wow. Okay. Something like, I don't know if it went through me or what, but I'm still dizzy. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. You all right? Yeah. Did you get, I was did really you, uh, dizzy. Did I get any stick figures in here? 
No. Not really. Um, tomorrow we can practice. I can help you practice. Okay. We can like when it's warm, we could sit out maybe in okay. a nice place. Since you, you'll probably pull from the ground. Yeah, I want Marcy to be protected too. Maybe okay, she can. Yeah, uh, Okay, viewers, we are back at the Sugarloaf Mountain Motel, 3 a.m., the witching hour. We're going to go check out one more section of the property tonight. This is outdoors behind the building. Yes. You want me to go first? Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I am making three solid points of contact as we go up these stairs. Because if I get pushed, I'm not going to be a pushover. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, he drained your tablet. <clears throat> that fit, he threw was ridiculous. Oh, I see it. Okay, so you see these three trees right here? Uh huh. It's right past that. It's up there somewhere. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit treacherous. Snow and ice on the stairs. I don't know if we're really supposed to be up here, but up here we are. Now I have a feeling if we just pan around and do some zoom ins that when we go through the video later there's gonna be stuff in there. What's wrong? What is that entrance right there? The it looks like there's a little upstairs apartment there. There's yeah. a window above the I don't wanna I don't wanna Yeah, we don't wanna be intrusive. trespassing on someone's this is newer wood up here. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. You know what? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe because they're remodeling and putting this in, it's pissing them off up here. Huh. Because look at up here, too. Before the snow, they were changing everything. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Sure. It's coming back, like it went and now it's coming back. Okay, it would be really easy to slip and fall coming down. <coughs> There's no railing. Sorry, I took you guys on a wild goose hunt. I just heard something say, see you tomorrow. Yes, you will. Yeah, well, I'll leave you with the thought here. As soon as I get down to the bottom. Do you need a hand? Like, can we hand break on? Are you okay? No. 
What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get down there so I can throw in and oh. Yeah, nice. They're so bad. Probably. It's like, come back, come back, come back. It's giving me that explorer feeling. You want to explore, right? I'm an explorer. You can't. Over there. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. It's not a he. It's gone. Ran back. The nicest spirit to be the usual one. Yeah. You were talking about that earlier. They, they're... Not known for their truths. <laughs> Careful, right there, there's a lot of ice. <laughs> that last step. Oh, it, it's not a key. I'm not calling you key. I just got like a whiff of like a disgusting sewage smell. Like like when you pull the valve on the That's shitter tank. That's a demon. Yeah? yeah. Wait, shh, shh. Did you guys hear that? It was growling right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. This is the place. It has a lot of activity here. So any other paranormal investigators, you know, interested in coming here, come. This is the spot. <laughs> Especially room five. <laughs> All right then. Okay, we're probably Okay, got any final, any yeah, okay. anything to tell the viewers as we wrap it up for the night? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. That was definitely an active night. There was a lot going on. The, it was, it was off the hook. Everything was just going on si simultaneously with them and us. My take on it is we a demon, I just got spirits, we freed up the spirits, and he's mad now. Freed Mary. Yeah, Mary got Mary. to go through uh, Lisa, and I uh, threw energy about three, three times. I shut a portal, so they're stuck. And he—that's when everything went nuts. Until we turned everything off because we couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, we had to turn everything off. And then another cool thing: when I threw the energy, I threw it at the portal so I could, you know, freeze it. Um, Lisa felt to go. <sighs> yeah, ice cold right by me. It was definitely interesting, and he's stuck and he's not happy now. Yeah. So we will meet him again tomorrow night. <laughs> he tried to get a hold of me. We had to give him some extra energy. I had to put energy into her to get released. And I have a lot of energy. Her. He was draining me quick. So. Okay, join us tomorrow night for part two of our Sugarloaf Mountain Motel special, yeah. January 15th, 2024. See you then. Good night. Mm -hmm.